will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor early in the morning. Way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. We'll put him in a long boat till he's sober, put him in a long boat till he's sober, put him in a long boat till he's sober. I don't know why Shaggy thinks he can just call me and interrupt at the start of Bible study. Yeah, well, there's a section for calling in. Have more respect for the word of our Lord, Shaggy. The time will come where you can call in, but be patient. Patient Shaggy is a virtue. <laughs> you know, be Christ like and patient, bro. <laughs> Shaggy, hold on. Give me, give me a minute, buddy. I gotta take a pee. But just one minute. I'll be right back. Oh, Sarah, I'm gonna send that to Shaggy now because I know Shaggy's been trying to call in. Shaggy can tell us about the planet of Lyle. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just gonna go make a coffee as well. So. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Uh, I'll send that to uh, Shaggy. Uh, uh, can y'all hear me? You're live, Shaggy. I believe we can hear you. Yeah, so, um, a friend, like a friend of yours, Warhammer, he he went around contacting, um, trying to contact my church. As a result of that, as a direct consequence of that, I got his full docs, and I've checked with my bishop. It's totally okay for me to baptize his whole family. So me and my friends Harry and Jay are actually going to baptize the entire Keese lineage, uh, all the dead ones at least. Warhammer will have to. Warhammer is going to have to wait until that medication he's taking that makes his dick not work kills him from a heart condition, and then I can get him into the faith too. But the fact is, Warhammer, uh, if I live you, you will not sleep in your grave uh, in your own denomination. Well, that's right. very insightful, Shaggy. Now, before before we have any sort of any sort of form and blood oh, sports, yeah. or, oh no, uh, I will be baptizing. Any sort of now that I am you know, unemployed, I will lay the ground rules of no doxing on Bible studies. And, um, you know, there's time and place for that, I guess, but not Bible studies. I'm sorry, studies. isn't it a rule that it's not a while if it's already out you, there? Shaggy. I wanted to ask yeah. you, Shaggy, if you had any insight on Belial, because I know the Mormons uh, have the Heavenly Mother Ashtaroth as, like, the housekeeper yeah, of Golob or whatever. Why are you confusing a literal fucking demon uh, with a Ashtaroth? Ashtaroth was not remotely related to Belial. Belial all right, so I, I know the history. Belial was Baal, who was a god of the land and basically a god of... Um, <clears throat> Fecundity. He was a god of uh, of basically uh, proliferation of uh, sex. Right. Well, I'm under the impression Shaggy, Belial, and Baal are uh, two different entities. And uh, now, Baal, you Baal. know, remember, remember Pepe the Frog or Keck? Keck yeah. was the like the giant god that Baal fought. Like the religion of Baal was Baal was this giant uh, man with a goat's head who represented life, and he would fight Keck. Which rep or a um, he had a different name. Keck was the Egyptian version of this deity, but um, he would fight this well, other. Hold deity. on, Shaggy. Don't hold don't on. The no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let me Mormons finish. Let me. This wait, hold the on. Pentagram with the goat's head. Well, hold on. Is we'll get to that. For all? fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, we can. I can get to that, but like. Yeah, sorry, Shaggy. I'll let you get to that. Right, so like it all connects. Like Baal is was essentially uh, the Canaanite god. Uh, he was the Canaanite version of Odin. Okay, the pagans of that reg region worshipped Baal in the same way that the Vikings worshipped Odin. So Baal would have been considered the god of life, and he would each season fight the god of death. 
the interesting thing was that sometimes he would lose, okay? Sometimes Bale would lose, and if Bale lost, it would be a terrible year of crops failing and everything. But if Bale won, it would be a good year, right? And that's how their religion worked. It was a harvest religion. Now, um, uh, Ashtaroth, that's, that's an completely different thing. Ashtaroth was actually the goddess of a city. Uh, goddess of an Israelite city. She was an. Um, she was never considered uh, to uh, really be of that same pantheon. And the, the, uh, ba ba Baal was uh, more of a. Well, um, it's a pagan god that the Israelites uh, worship. No, like after it, it's, it's a little okay. So it's a little different. It's a little different um, with that. They Astaroth. were smited by God for worship. I, I read the Bible too. I, I read the Bible too. I know about the groves of Ashtaroth getting burned. I know about that. Yes, the groves of Ashtaroth all burned. I know. But but what you must remember is that uh, Ash the the cult of Ashtaroth wanted to be a monotheistic religion as well. That is very different from what the Baalites practiced. The Baalites were polytheistic. The and followers of Ashtaroth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Baal and uh, Belial are two different entities. Well, I'm Just getting. Well, they could be. The they could be because oh. Baal means master of the land. There were many men named Baal. Uh, Baal just really yeah. for a time meant king, but it also meant God. In the same way we say God because some people are uncomfortable saying Yahweh, uh, you know, that's how they the uh, ancient Canaanites addressed Baal. They weren't calling him by his name. They were calling him no, king. No, I Baal think even, like, you're right about that, Shaggy, but I think even, like, bringing it back to the chapter that we're trying to study, I think that uh, even Nabal, who's one of the central figures in this chapter, there were different, I, I know, this man that doesn't yeah, get hold on, David. I, I think I Nabal, really do know like, Paul at the end of his name, probably, probably does come from that yes. as well. Hold on, Surfer, um, the thing about it is that there were different... Uh, Baal was a massive religion. For there was uh, Baal of Tubal and Baal of Edom. There were various Baal cults that did not agree on doctrine. It was a massive religion. But the thing you have to understand about Ashtaroth is that uh, eventually the cult of Ashtaroth, um, who were very much like the cult of Yahweh in that they were monotheistic, they formed this cult that... Um, that, that basically espoused the truth that, that these two deities, and this was an ancient truth, this is how it was actually in the beginning, uh, they, they brought it back at the original well, tenets that these two deities were. going to tell us about how Okay, so Ashtaroth, Ashtaroth was originally the wife of El, the chief of, of this uh, pantheon of deities, uh, but there's multiple pantheons being discussed here. Like, this is history, not just religion. So it's a little complicated because there were different religions in this region. But the, the fact is the cult of Ashtaroth sort of got eaten by the cult of Yahweh. And over time, Ashtaroth played less and less of a role until they, they basically eliminated her from the faith entirely and burnt all the groves. Yeah, but Jaggy, really why? Hold on, hold on, Surfer. Jaggy, this is really, like the story on, that we're reading wait, wait, wait. the Old Testament isn't about different, well, different listen, listen, this is, this is, pag, pagan cults. Like what, the reason why Ashtaroth comes in is because the Israelites would turn from God in abundance, and then they would start to worship different uh, false gods from different pagan right. cults. But Thought as a point, the one true God would have to smite them for that. Like Astaroth and Baal, and really. different entities weren't actually gods. Like they were, they were depictions. Yes, of I, I am going to get to that. that, that that's literally that the next Literally the worship. Literally the next um, It's easier for us to see these things. But there's only one true God who the Israelites sure, I've heard, I, I understand these from. arguments. I have read the Bible. I have discussed things with actual Catholic priests. I, I do know this. The, the fact of the matter is, you should not oh, worship... the Catholic priests will call you, Jaggy. Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on here. For fuck's sake, Surfer, let me get a word in. Like, <laughs> you ahead, you should not worship Ashtaroth. Why yes, you can go back to the origins of our faith, Ashtaroth. to the truly ancient origins of the faith. There were other beings. There were named angels, and yes, God had a wife, the many wives, the highest of them being Ashtaroth. That is, yeah, the ancient, we don't right, read of this in the Bible. Right, right. well, <laughs> look, hold on. I, I, I'm literally getting to that. I, I know you love to interrupt, Surfer, and you accuse me of doing it, but you do the same thing. 
Well, Shaggy, you've been rambling. You do the like same damn thing. And I would just make the point that the mistake, that the mistake, I, I, I other than. how this leads into Belial, bro. You, well, you know, Belial is You know, I believe that, 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 that my God is not nearly as incompetent as your version and will not lose goodly souls to Satan. But the mistake the worshippers of Ashtaroth actually made was to give up their worship of Ashtaroth to become part a lesser part of the cult of Yahweh in the same sense that Mormons today are trying to become part of false Christianity by rejecting the name Mormonism. I would say that what happened to the Ashtarothi was a direct well, result of yeah, them giving up whatever different priesthood points. they had. You, know, you should yeah name mormonism like in the uh what is it is it first Corinthians where uh paul says like we're not of paul we're not of cephas we're not of apollos we're all of christ um, we're not of mormonia yeah, but paul was Mormon being an asshole that yeah but, but paul was also a, a massive dick in many ways and wasn't nearly as cool as joseph smith and didn't have <laughs> as many wives joseph smith said that you should listen to me and not paul Okay, well, we'll just move it. on to that. Um, do, you, do you have any insight? I, I, it, it is, um, I think it would be insightful to know oh, yeah, when describe actually... the people of sons of Belial, because Belial would have been a very specific pagan entity. And when they say sons of Belial, they're describing their unrighteous characteristics that are attributed in these uh, pagan cults to Belial. So if well, you do know of what Belial is, is, I would be sort it of It is a complicated historical question. The sons of Belial could mean all of his worshippers because it was a polytheistic society. And yes, he had specific cults dedicated to him. Or it could mean well, all of his priests. Specifically well, his priests. No, Shaggy, what it is, because you actually see it. You see uh, people referred to as sons of Belial, not just in this chapter, but you actually see that throughout the first five well, books. Well, it could be literal. There were a lot of... Go- and I... I, I I'm under the impression when it says that, like it's talking about the characteristics of the people, like their unrighteous behaviors and their unrighteous attitudes and actions I, uh, are, are what are attributed to Belial. And that's why question. I call us the sons of Belial. Question. Um, I got a question for you. Yeah. All right. So well, actually, hold on first. Before your question, it's just I, I do need to make the point that it is similar to in the New Testament when Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and they say that they're sons of Abraham because um, like they're actually genetically sons of Abraham. But Jesus says unto them that they're not sons of Abraham, that they're actually sons of Satan um, because like spiritually they're not sons of Abraham. Abraham was a man of faith, right? So I think that's exactly the same context in which people are referred to here as the sons of Belial. It's because of their attitudes. It's because of their way of being. It's not because they're like actually literally physically sons of Belial, right? Hold on. Consider this. Yeah, ask the question. We know. We know that many ancient pharaohs would call themselves gods. We know that many ancient uh, men would call themselves Baal and claim to be living incarnations of Baal. Is it not possible the sons of Baal were literally the sons of some dude? Sons of Baal, bro. Sons of Belial. I thought we were Belial. Whichever dude it was. But is it not possible that these that Belial at that point uh, would have actually had some sort of dude walking around calling himself that, like Pharaoh would call himself Amun Ra. We have to remember that many of these religions. Yeah, were but based Shaggy, on the king Shaggy, we're not talking God. about Pharaoh or the Egyptians. Hold on, like, but yes, because, 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 because Pharaoh would have had sons, if wouldn't he? And if you were a son of Pharaoh, in that the would Bible, make you a son of Ra. Like, if, you're, if you were the Pharaoh of the way of the way of being, being. I'm just not because they're over you. physically sons of this person, right? We're not talking right. about Egyptian yeah, religion not here, bro. It from a like we're talking about the Bible, perspective, dude. And we're talking about pagans, bro. So hold on and let me make my fucking point. And then, like, if I'm wrong, then felt me. Holy shit! Like, we know felt that it. all of these, all of these fucking <laughs> pagan religions, all of these fucking pagan religions, including, including uh, uh, the Nordic ones were ultimately designed so that the king or ruler of the land could call himself an avatar of the god. That was true with the Romans, it was true with the Egyptians, and it was true with the Norse. 
So we can assume that the sons of Belial at least may have been the sons of an actual king who was claiming to be the avatar of the god he worshipped. That's all I'm the saying. Reason you're wrong, that was the practice the reason pagan. why you're definitively wrong is in the first five books it also refers to people. And like Genesis and Exodus and Numbers it refers to people as the sons of Belial. And that well, was yeah, like well, we got sons of Pharaoh. Of there would have been a lot of sons of Pharaoh. How many Belial sons of Pharaoh lived for thousands of years, bro? Well, how long did Pharaoh live? How many sons of Pharaoh? How many sons of Ra were they when each Pharaoh the, the, called himself The oldest Ra. man that ever lived was Methuselah, Shaggy, and he lived to be 969 okay, so you years. you like to shit on Catholics. No, you like no, to shit Pharaoh. On Catholics. Look no at the Catholic King Pope. Is the Pope. Hold lived on. more than a thousand on, years. Surfer. But whoa, it's buddy. Methuselah. Whoa, buddy. Methuselah. Hold on. Was is the it? oldest man. All right. Okay, he I'm lived not kidding. They lived that long, dude. Bro. I'm not claiming they live that long. I'm saying, like, like the Pope claims well, to that's, be God. That's the logical conclusion, uh, Shaggy. By okay, question. Because question. people are referred to as the sons of Belial in the All first right. five books. Thousands okay. of yeah, years Yeah, but isn't that a lot? Daniel, like, right? Hold on, Surfer. Surfer, would you shut the fuck up and let me ask this one question? Do not cap I'm, I'm letting all you ask your question, Twitter. Shaggy. Just don't give a five-minute ramble into the question. Just get to the question, bro. Yeah, fair enough. Catholic priests call the Father, question, Shaggy. and the Pope is a stand-in for God, right? You say that often. Unless you're a papist now, the Pope are you a stand-in for God? God? When have I ever said the Pope is a stand-in for well, God? Well, if you didn't rant oh, over me, I guess that's what you said. Now you're, like, confusing your audience. They may think you're a papist. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I'm the one confusing the audience, Shaggy. But, yeah, but no, go ma ahead, maybe let me get a word in. Maybe let me get a word in. Like all oh, pagan let's get a few. Can you oh, let's get a few words. Word. <laughs> Shaggy is disrespectful to the people of the DC. I can do my DC. own content. I can just go do my own content. Look, all I'm saying is the... the Shaggy uh, is being so very disrespectful. Right? stupid oh, shit, yeah. dude. Oh, you just shut the fuck up for one the bitch. I'm just gonna turn Shut this mic down. Shut the fuck up, idiot. Aww. No, so Gaudi, Gaudi, let Shaggy speak. If there's no, any way I can moderate it, I would mute everyone from Shaggy. Shaggy. No, Gaudi, just let him ask the question. Gaudi, the little fucking faggot. Let him ask the question, bro. We want to keep this civil in Bible study. Because you don't run shit, surfer. You let your fucking mods run it. That's why I don't say anything. I've just, I've been listening to this guy for like non-stop for 20 minutes 30 minutes he doesn't stop and doesn't get to a point that's well, all he's trying to get to his point we just need to let him speak Galvin. go ahead oh, no, he's gone well i guess we're not getting to the point thanks for your input shaggy we're much appreciated where'd shaggy go we get there. so let's let's get back to the chat oh, there he is we were so Okay, Shaggy. Everyone, no, no one interrupt Shaggy. Let let Shaggy answer it. Ask his well, question. I, I love when I come in here and it's just a bunch of your fucking faggot friends. I was just gonna point out how you know the Pope and the modern day Catholic Church also functions in that fashion, where they have a would be stand in for God who's a mortal man, and he has sons who or, or fathers, the priests who function as his sons in a sense. It's a very old thing, and I'm just surprised that I'm the only one who yeah, sees but the Yeah, it's thing. irrelevant. We're talking about people being described as the sons of Belial, who's like a... Uh, yeah, they were probably... His, yeah, I'm just wondering. Words, right? yeah, I like, know, I know. You're only interested the reality in is the, the modern the pope has reading nothing of the to Bible. do with that. I don't have and that we can't thing point like, at the modern pope and say, because the modern pope is this way, Nabal in the 25th chapter of the first book of Samuel also must have been. Because you know what? Pharaoh in Egypt was the same way. So Nepal, I'm sorry. Uh, the same look, way look, also. Look, well, look, no, that's a perfect example of the sort of person. The context of the son of Belial is obviously just retarded, sir. Because of their actions, it's just like right? fucking it's retarded, ignoring the world the around the Bible. the Bible, just ignoring everything other than the Bible. That's not what Christ wanted you to do, dude. Like you're getting a wrong reading of it because you're ignoring history. You're reading a no, actually, Shaggy. Not... Actually, Shaggy. It says in the, uh, and I think Paul wrote this, that folk hyper focusing on the letter leads to death. That we need to focus on the spirit, not the letter. And actually, what you're I'm doing the is focusing the on the letter because you're focusing on a specific instance of son of Belial. 
But if you put it in the context of the whole spirit of the Bible, well, you would also see the other parts where it says sons of Belial thousands of years before this part in the history. And you would also see when Jesus talks to the Pharisees and calls them sons of Satan, says that they're not sons of Abraham uh, because they're unrighteous, they're sons of Satan. And if you look Which at the overarching is? spirit of the Bible, it, okay, it helps you get a better understanding of this specific I'm gonna, I'm this gonna, part. But you're over focusing on the letter, I'd rather just right? piss off Galdi. Yeah. Let, let Galdi back in. I'd rather just say things and have him scream for a while. Let Galdi back in. Seeing as he bans me from PPP's chat because he's a fucking faggot. Stop making shit up, idiot, man. I didn't make well, any of those things. You're such a fucking lying piece of shit, dude. Well, Stop making shit up about up. me, you fucking asshole. Leave you listen to up, me now, man. Shut the fuck up, dude, man. Shut the fuck up, Shaggy. Shut the fuck up, man. You man. fucking rat. Loose ass clap, cock. Eight sucking motherfucker. Loose ass clap, cock. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If you're gonna if you're gonna have debate or any level of blood sports, let's keep it in context of what we're studying, which is the 25th chapter of the first book of Daniel. Let's not deviate from the context and start talking about being a homosexual. I mean, any of you are a homosexual, you know, Calvi loves himself some child You know, we can debate things like the son of Lyle. Let's not debate who's homosexual, Shaggy. Well, no, he's been treating child porn with John Keese. He has. I mean, I ain't got, I, I got no reason not to say that Galdi has been trading in child porn with John Keith. Hey, hey. Oh, you do have a reason oh, not hey, to say hey, that. Hey, 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 could we, no. Because you're in Bible study, oh, Shaggy. Oh, have I been going to go to the Bible? Have I been going to go to the Bible? Have I been going to go to the Bible? Have I been going to go to the Bible? Have I been going to go to the Bible? Have I been Let's Shaggy. Or maybe it was the power of Asheron. Let's study together. Maybe it was Let's the power of Asheron. Devolving into chaos, Shaggy. You're devolving into chaos, bro. You're becoming a son of Belial. Chaos is strong. Speak the words of Lorgar. <laughs> well, are you a son of Lorgar? Are you now, bro? voices no. You're, you're not satisfied being a son of Lyle? Now you gotta be a son of Lorgar also? Virtually well, yeah. no Maybe sense in your logic is shit. And become a son of hey, God. Hey, you're talking become a son a of Christ, Shaggy. Nah, nah, yeah. Man. Uh, uh, no, uh, Shaggy, um, but like, uh, Lord, we can. what were we actually talking about in this? Well, we're talking about the 20th century. Your father, your father, and all your family who I'll be baptizing. Jake, you can't baptize dead people. Well, I, can. That shit I can, and I was told to do so by my church, by the men I consider holy men. I was told I could do it. Well, that, that's how he we know that your church, you know, is... You know, it's like direct, the direct words of the call to death that by teaching tolerance. I'm teaching him love and tolerance. I'm teaching Warhammer to be a tolerant. people that are already dead, moron. Moron, you're a Muslim. How are you going to baptize people if you're not even a true Mormon? Well, no, it doesn't even matter, because it's silly, Warhammer, to think that you can baptize the dead. It's the exact same reason why infant baptism is silly. Oh, um, you're dead. Is I'm something that's done us. by free will. Um, we accept Christ into our Nothing heart, accept Christ as the now. Lord, and repent honestly of our sins. And we're baptized the in the of the power. Sin. Um, someone that's dead doesn't do have the free hammer, will to, uh, I can't do that with baptized, a straight face. Right? We're, we're like, doing Warhammer. Really we're we're making even. fun of Warhammer using Warhammer. That's brilliant. Shaggy, this isn't about making fun of Warhammer. Once again, this oh, is, is about the first book of That's Samuel, chapter 25. You no, know, I did church today. I went to church for like two hours. I did my church. I'm here to make fun of Warhammer today. Okay. Okay. Well, Shaggy, if, uh, if you're going to be that way. All right. Um, all right. All right. Fine. Shaggy, Allah who walks you'll, you'll, you'll get server muted. Allah who walks bar. Well, it's all. So we can hear oh, you. Did you? Hold on, Shaggy. It's Galdi's turn to speak now. You've had your time. Um, Galdi, do you have any questions? 
No, not really. I just like to listen to you guys and learn, that's all. And then tell Shaggy to shut the hell up. <laughs> well, uh, what was the most interesting thing that you learned today? That Shaggy can't shut up. Well, I mean, we didn't learn that. We knew that for, for a while now. <laughs> Shocking revelation. I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to listen to you guys, but Shaggy has been going on for 20 minutes, so I lost, uh, you know, the thought and the plot. So I'm sorry, guys. Maybe you can recap it for me. Well, I mean, Shaggy killing a bunch of brain cells, I mean, that's not new news, but um, do you want to do the recap, Surfer? Yeah, so once again, uh, so Samuel has died right after his purpose is fulfilled. Um, after there's the scene in the cave from the last, cha from the last chapter where um, David Brent um, saw his skirt. Um, David goes down to, uh, to the wilderness of Hey, are you and, a Mexican uh, or a German? I can't tell. Are you a snake or a crab? Hold on. This is down. I mean, if you're talking to yourself, please. Please, please. please calm down. Yeah, calm yeah. down, Shaggy. Okay. Oh, okay. Ho ho. Now he's trying to have his turn, Shaggy. Ho ho. Okay. Ho ho. Forge gig. Forge game. I'm an American. Show some respect. No, nope, no, nope, you too. Jack. I don't know whether you're from Europe or whether you're from South Dakota. Shaggy, I'm down. Calm down. Shaggy. Are you? Oh my uh, gosh, Shaggy, are you okay. having a little melt right now? You should respect me. Oh, I mean, it's I okay, dude. It's you know. should know that will never happen, dude. I'm sorry. Uh oh, uh -oh looks like things are getting derailed again. By you, you fucking idiot! Uh, yeah, yeah, did you ask yeah, my thoughts yeah. on yeah, Samuel? Yeah, Jeff, Lord, yeah we did, but it's a bit of a shit show now, so you might have to wait. All right, I jannied him. Like Mary going down into Egypt, uh, when uh, you know they they took Mary down into Egypt to get away from. Uh, Herod killing all the babies to try and kill Jesus. Uh, and Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey. Kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's probably some insight to that that goes over my head. Um, um, but yeah, that's really all I had. And, uh, you know. But like... Uh, I'm getting kicked back and... That's where you Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, like, uh, you know, like, the Mormons have all these, like, genealogical studies to try to prove that the Indians or whoever are, like, the lost tribes or whatever with the Bible, like, can just tell you, you know, like, who, who everybody is in the table of nations and stuff. And, like, you can use it to find, like, things like Caleb, like, who Caleb was related to, you know, like, and find out, oh, you yeah. know, things like that. that that's what I like to use for it, because there's a lot of history. Like, people say, like, you know, oh, it's all just made up. No, dude, there's, like, actual history and science and stuff in the Bible. Like, it's a full package. Yeah, people are just brainwashed by popular society that say things like that. I'm, I'm reading, uh, so I'm reading in uh, Numbers chapter 14 right now, and it says, um, because, so after the spies, um, the majority of them say that they won't be able to take this land. Um, the Israelites want to... Um, they say, uh, let us make a captain and let us return into Egypt. So they want to go back to Egypt that they've just escaped from. Um, <sighs> then it says, then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, um, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. So Joshua and Caleb are rattled that... Um, this might be um, a Mormon perspective on that, but I do notice. No, Shaggy, some... hold on! Don't just interrupt okay. me, bro. Like you cry, okay. people interrupt you, and we're actually trying to study the world. No, I just do the same thing. I just do the same nonsense. thing realistically. Them, I cry when boy. people complain about me interrupting. Just, just actually, them, I don't like boy. that people always complain Shaggy, about me interrupting. Shaggy, you're the only one acting like a jackal, bro. Now, jackal off of here. You know, jackal your way right on out, bro. We're trying to study the word. Um, so it says, well, you um, only have 
half the word. You only have half the word. Half the word is idiot when it's incomplete and you're reading it wrong. Shaggy, you're not even reading the Bible and you're criticizing us of reading it wrong. Like, figure it out, buddy. I've actually read maybe the Bible. Yeah, I'm just saying, I have actually read the Bible. Uh, maybe Shaggy, we are using the, the Bible to study the Bible. Uh, I go to Sunday uh, school to study one thing the Bible. to another thing. I know, thing. I study the Bible in a Sunday school. Three, I know four, that's a three, four, weird fashion, But I actually, I don't, I don't I go to Bible and, um, to the Bible. And we're going to have to do this. To mention how server. Warhammer's uh, parents won't you. allow him around children. Yeah, sorry, I, I, we mentioned Mormonism, so I thought he might have an intelligent take. No, don't, don't unmute him. Thank you. Say, you know, I, I need to maintain a certain level of order in the Bible study, and no one wants to hear Shaggy see. Like, oh, if you're trying enough. to do something serious, 3 4, only, only unmute him if I tell you to unmute him. Um, so, um, so after, I know this isn't related. Thank you for answering study, my but, question. Uh, Shaggy's streaming right now. Based. I hope he's stream sniping us and just seething about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll help him learn a little bit. Maybe Shaggy can study the Bible a little bit and um, and figure it out. You quit behaving like such a jackal, and a son of Belial, you know, or a son of Astaroth. Who was he calling a kraut? I mean, who was Shaggy calling a kraut? Uh, probably you. Galdi. Oh, Grouty. I don't know. Yeah, probably Galdi. Is calling me a kraut? That's... I don't know. His ramblings yeah, are pretty know. nonsensical. Uh, nonsensical. Uh... The uh, the Book of Kings. That um, <laughs> we we we, we oh. and you know actually to build on that so, too because Nabal so, uh, lives in surfer, abundance. Hold on. And uh, I'm going Caleb to mute you, surfer. Time... I'm muting you, surfer. Surfer has embraced his gunt. Fully. Fully gunted. You see, um, Surfer, my good friend, my good bruder, my, my good German bruder. Yeah, he has fully, fully gunt locked his chat. Oh, yes. He's, he's not jannied me. No, he's got laughing Adolf on. It's really gaudy. Just spamming the shit so no one can tell whether it's basically to keep me out of the chat without actually banning me. Um, and I don't know why. He typically likes me in his chat. It's like not a logical decision. So um, the other thing is he doesn't really want me in his chat right now. Because while some nights it's fine to keep me up all night before work on a Bible stream to just scream at me and get me uh, to yell. But if I'm getting people to yell, if I want to mention the fact that, you know, Warhammer, who just very blatantly said he is not sexually attracted to women. Uh, if I if I say, mention the fact that, you know, um, real name John Keese, because, uh, you know, he gets involved in my real life, I'll get involved in yours. If you keep it online, so will I. But you start calling my church and I get your docs, fine. I can, sh like, you're getting involved in my life. You're getting involved in my fucking life. That's, that's Shaggy's opinion. You go IRL, I go IRL. So uh, keep it online. It'll stay online. But for John Keese, well, uh, I, a word of the bird is that his family don't trust him around kids. And you'll see he don't like women. So, it, you know, um, time to add two and two. You know, uh, it, it's like, uh, it's like early Kyler or unknown Hinson says, just add two and two. It's time you got a clue. Your man is gay, like a Don Apero gay. He's a flame and arrow. I, I mean, I don't know what more to tell you about the, this Warhammer dude, right? Like more and more ugly shit gets released on him. Like, uh, Warhammer, I know far more about you now than you. You did not want to call the Mormon church. Because when you look into the, to, into the Mormon church, the Mormon church looks into you. Now I know you. You didn't want that. I was felted of everything but the church. That was the worst fucking route to take. But anyway, Surfer don't want me de de derailing his, um, his, his precious Bible stream, which is never in any way blasphemous. It always has, you know, very respectful singing... There's never, they don't do a little trolling. They don't do that. No, it's a very respectful stream. And, you know, for me to come in there and talk about Mormonism, uh, that's just not Christian. You know, they asked me a question about Baal, and of course I'm supposed to give the answer that Surfer thought of, not 
not Shaggy's answer, but I don't know why they'd ask Shaggy for Surfer's opinion to begin with. Anyway, um, I'm going to unmute Surfer now. Nor David Bermigtow. In fact, um, David had a few wives. And uh, ultimately, that's... Um, that's um, like a justification for polygamy, Surfer. Yeah, David had a few wives. How about that? I can say that it's a... Um, um a uh what's the word i'm looking for not promotion not a promotion of the migtow lifestyle but a uh, point towards it i guess uh migtow is is, is satanic tongue. it's but atheistic the there's it's not, nothing christian um, about migtow it's not based in christ surfer that's really the um it's really a um like it show david ultimately like following because of women now i'm gonna um, of course sort of shows uh, why you shouldn't have too many wives and um, uh, and, you yeah. can't just be a simp. I don't know. He has this German idiot on, like polygamy, saying, "Why does this guy? Why does this? <laughs> he always like, talks like, over he everyone." Because I have something wife, to say, um, you dumbass. It, um, why is he talking? Why is he talking? Really I don't a, know. The Germans from that region. Word, I can't tell. He might be a Mexican. I hate when people can't get their own accent right. Please make your accent distinct enough that an American can tell a Mexican from a German. Thank you. David, you know sought multiple yeah. wives it's his own doing so it's not the woman's fault i mean it's his own uh, it's his own sort of uh urges and desires that led him down that path and will lead him ultimately from the path of righteousness you can't just blame women like you have to have some own yeah. your own sort of self your own sense of discipline well no sometimes you can't just blame women uh sometimes so the is the fault. Uh, that's the most cuck answer i've ever heard yeah, beta beta male that, that's uh, a I beta male know, bitch made know, answer if i ever heard by the value of women. now they don't want me making why, fun um, of warhammer i'm only allowed to throw warhammer when he's got like six retards at his back and i mean i gotta be honest sir you're gonna have to act much more honorable than this if you want me to face so warhammer on kill stream i need to know that you're not gonna of, have um, like six retards in there she, complaining she a good woman. and shit and that's, uh, because a, i don't babysit for free you have like i need to get around. paid if i'm gonna babysit um, warhammer and you know, all his friends i'll play with the day. retard well, that's the thing. If Nabal was up he would have got slaughtered and all of his shares and his workers and okay yeah that's not unreasonable 100 percent the point that ain't unreasonable you know, you shouldn't be a black. You shouldn't be like Coach Black Pill and just rate other men's faces while you abstain from women. Well, I think uh, like the MGTOW thing. It's a very prideful. You're saying I am too good for women. Like I'm above like uh, having a wife. I'm my own person. It sort of it's goes a into cult, sort of dumbass. Like, it's not prideful at all. They're lying. They're all terribly night, ashamed of like themselves. The only they're way like, they can um, live with themselves above, is by pretending you know, the they're above it. They're not above it. They they want pussy more than anyone else. Structures, family they crave pussy. The reason they don't don't go into the Alice's is because they're actually afraid of the pussy. Yeah, well, and I think the ultimate mistake... It's basically is fear of the unknown to taken to its ultimate fucking extreme to due to modernization. Um, people see MGTOW as an ends. Um, and these black pill guys will say that going MGTOW is an ends. Going MGTOW can be a, a very effective means to an ends. Uh, well, you build your foundation as a man. Um, Go into the Alice. Sometimes we need to do that before we take a wife. My personal experience, I wasn't ready for a wife. Uh, no shit, I'm upset, Coffee. So I just I lost my fucking job. I'm, I'm also man. drunk. But, um, I'm not just upset. I'm raving fucking drunk, Coffee. So find that wife. But MGTOW should never be an end. Um, unless, I mean, you dedicate yourself. Like the Apostle Paul talks about, you dedicate, you become celibate and dedicate yourself solely to the works of God. Um, some men that um, aren't supposed to take wives, that's the um, what they're best suited for. But for the majority of us, we have a passion that burns inside of us, and it's, it's not realistic to go big tau as an ends. Now, Galdi can fuck himself. Galdi yeah, is probably the one who banned me from PPP's uh, chat. Galdi's probably the laughing Adolf. Galdi is the I biggest piece of shit I've met on here. And Galdi trades in child porn with Warhammer. <laughs> from what I, I mean, <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, no harm in saying allegedly, right? And, um, and figure it out. I mean, he's part of Forge Gang. I just assume all the people in Forge Gang uh, would prefer Lolly to Futa. It's not that they wouldn't jack off to fucking, uh, you know. Probably. It's not that they wouldn't fucking jack off to a dick. Probably Galdi. 
But they'd much rather jack off to a 14-year-old over in Forge Gang. That's Just their thing. Just calling me a crouch. I don't know. Maybe y'all weren't around for cornfield days, but this is like me every fucking day, just like fucking um, drunk so and depressed on top of the show. Uh, this is Plastic Shaggy. You, you go what I might change it from and Postal and to Plastic Shaggy because uh, I'm drunk and, and felted it in a trailer. This is how it started. Uh, and we are here again. Hope it don't end here. Oh, well, well, I've got another alt, and I always do enjoy... Well... Well, who knows? Fake Shaggy. Everyone has a bit of a spiral from yeah, time to time. Really That's what makes this interesting. Uh, now, I'm hiding you on the channel, but I will address your fucking question. Um, people who don't spiral or don't have shit happen in their lives, they're boring. And no one's interested in them. That's like your life. Nothing interesting, nothing ever happens, and no one cares about you. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why these guys will just join Discord chats and just not say anything. Just I'm not banning YouTube. Axel. Like, Axel doesn't cause me problems. Like, and Axel pisses off anyway, the people I don't like. So Axel is quality. beneficial to the ecosystem. Stream. Okay? I don't allow kids in my chat. Yeah, I don't know. There's no children <laughs> Axel can rape here. Down, so Axel is a beneficial presence in my ecosystem. Because, like... All he does is piss off <laughs> you know, everyone who seems to dislike me. So, uh, I, I fully welcome... I'm not joining Axel's Discord. I find it very gay and boring. But he's more than welcome everyone to hang out in my chat. If only it's a service. Maybe, maybe they think Shaggy's in here for Spurgeon all the queers. Or something, you know, and they wanted to come to record Shaggy, Spurg, and Al from the Beast team. But he's gone. He's streaming. Well, Shaggy is certainly spurging. He's probably still spurging, you know, and behaving like Aww. a son of blood. I spurging. Well, we tried to tell him to repent. Um, you know, but sometimes... No, I, I'm not no, spurging, dude. I, like I just feel like, like you know, it's easier for me to get my say in but, uh, some, when you don't fucking gunt guard and mute me so that you can fucking, um, like, no, protect your little not, pet retard. Uh, like, I get you're having a fun time piloting the Warhammer, as Ethan says, but, uh... No, sure. um, no, like, I'm not gonna be complicit in that shit. Like, and if you try to mute me time, uh, so like, I can't I get really my say in, and then let and some hit retard voice. talk shit about like, my religion, like, and I'll, I'll just talk foolish. over him. And if you're gonna mute me, if you're gonna jammy me so I can't like, talk over him, like, I'll snipe and give my opinion and siphon off a few of your viewers. Kind of spooky. And this is what we read about in the book of Jeremiah in the. Well, golly, yeah, I'm seething real hard. I, I, I'm just not over anything from the internet. To be honest, Galdi, if the shit that happened to me happens to you and you're not, like, pissed over it, you're probably, like, a, like the negative sort. Well, there's only a negative. You're probably a nihilist. You're probably, like, a really depressed person who just, like, feels life is meaningless. Because it's not healthy to just laugh at anything. He doesn't follow the true life. Um, he follows some weird cult. It's uh, he's stumbling further and further into darkness, and um, you know Satan has possessed his spirit or Belial or whatever, and uh, he's trying to distract from the. Word oh, of God. I'm glad he brought that up. Okay, so here's the way. I used back. to be a pagan. It's Surfer, dark. Surfer doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, right? I'm glad. I was wondering what started all this. Surfer's talking about paganism. I'm the only ex-pagan here. All right. All pagan religions is the point I was make. The sons of Belial. Now, it is very likely that the sons of Belial were, uh, they could have been, yeah, everyone who worshipped that specific god. But in a polytheistic society, that's not very fucking likely. Most people are going to worship bunches of gods throughout all times of the day. You can't kill all the farmers because at noon they pray to Belial and at dawn they pray at Ashtaroth. That's not go you're going to have no one to till the fields. The sons of Belial. Uh, they may have been the inhabitants of a specific city because sometimes those were wiped out. They may also have been the sons of a specific dude. Now, here's the deal. Surfer tried to interrupt me and say, like, uh, oh, but how could Belial, if he was a dude, how could he live for thousands of years? How could Pharaoh live for thousands of years? How could Caesar live for thousands of years? In fact, the, 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 there were people who were named Belial. There were people who were named Baal. People would often name their children after gods. That was not considered blasphemous. That's why Thor and Odin are common names in Norway, even back during the Viking era. Um, you know, like, I, I already explained uh, 
you know, the role of Baal or Belial, who are very similar, different regional variations of the same deity, I believe, unless you get into later Catholic uh, depictions of Belial. If you want to get into Catholicism and, uh, you know, Gnosticism uh, and Gosia, that's a very different subject than historical fucking paganism, okay? We're not talking about any religious shit. We're just talking about the facts that have been established or would be facts that have been established by historians. We know that the Pharaoh was, uh, you know, w was basically a stand-in for a god. He called, he, the Pharaoh believed himself and was raised by the church to believe himself to be the living avatar of God. Uh, this was also uh, the practice of Caesar. He himself, uh, their ruler, was to be seen as a living avatar of divinity. Um, different gods uh, sometimes were pharaoh. For example, uh, one god might see himself, as, I mean, one uh, emperor of Rome saw himself as Elagabalus, god of the sun. Uh, others would have seen themselves as Mars. But um, there was always this idea that man would assume the role of god. Moving on, we have the Pope. You know, the Pope is, again, another living avatar of God. Uh, they view him as literally the hand of God, as if he has become part of God's body and serves as... Basically, the Pope is worshipped as God, much like ancient Egyptian and Roman paganism. Now, uh, the difference between Mormonism and all those other paganism is that we also have a man who serves as God. His name is Jesus Christ, right? That's why, you know, ours is the proper religion. It, it, it is uh, properly organized ancient Israelite worship of Jesus Christ as the living avatar of the God of Israel. I mean, I say we are Christ-worshipping pagans, but... Realistically, that, that's just a way for me to sort of dumb it down for you um, half-Christians, you lesser Christians, surfer. You, those of you who only have half the true scripture. Uh, oh, is that a... Oh, shit. Shaggy will kill again. Is that a... Uh, is, is that... Um, here. You know what? Um... I, I'm going to play some music for you. Surfer's boring me. Uh, is it what sh uh, you know, no, that's stupid. That's it. I'm not in the mood to listen to music. Let's see what Surfer's saying. I was going to play some Angry Johnny and the Killbillies for you. But uh, in my drunken haze, I forgot that I'm not a fucking DJ. I'm here to laugh at retards. Uh, um... Yeah, morning off your head chat says, good lord, Shaggy, that's not an appropriate tone for Bible Street. And, you know, just like Abigail, you know, that's the, uh, you know. Appropriate tone for a Bible Street. Surfer, do you know how many times woman, you have uh, told me into your bullshit? You once had action. me going for <laughs> eight stuff. fucking hours. Let women settle things down. And it's like. There is like no the tone for your Jack stream. I'm sorry, surfer. If that's there, a troll, like, that, that's, like that's one thing. That's one thing. But I'm not actually gonna <laughs> gonna know, swallow sad. that with a spoonful of sugar. Yeah, Get fucked on that, surfer. Headshot. No, your show is not a respectful and orderly Bible stream. I've done my church for the day, buddy. Your Mine show is, is good, like a, a good it, your show is Moe's Tavern one. after church. Yeah. That's literally your you complete with fucking Mo. Complete with Mo. Right, yeah, yeah, and you so invite close. me in there, and you want me yeah. to argue and babysit yeah, Barney Gumble. You want me to ba come forward with Warhammer as Barney Gumble. You. you even got a Barney Gumble. I'm not okay, babysitting so Barney Gumble. Do I look like Homer Simpson no, to you? All right, Galdi. I, I understand. It's um. Shaggy can be frustrating you know, sometimes. You, you oh, like it, can um, he? I, I understand the anger towards Shaggy. He is very abrasive to absolutely everyone he interacts with. But, like, we also do want to save Shaggy and the, um... Yeah, but you, you know, guys all watch my content. Like, no matter but, how much um, you hate me, you know, like, the that is a point the gun makes, and he does have that. Shaggy repent. 
And, like, um, even if the way you win this is by plowing through the hatred. That's why I'm okay doing a felted arc. And, Everyone uh, does need, a felted arc. You know, we need it doesn't fucking matter. Everyone is hated. The, the only right way you become not hated is when you don't. Like, the crowd is sometimes like with you arbitrarily, um, all, uh, and they're sometimes fucking not yeah, arbitrarily. Get back into the light, and uh, we'll see a much better Shaggy. Um, I'm not getting into the Simpsons lore. I don't like the Simpsons. It's a shit show, but I mean, uh, got Surfer comparing his, his show to a church is fucking retarded. Just retarded. Because, like, it, it much more is like a tavern. And considering Simps show, yeah, it's like Moe's Tavern. Surfer, you're preaching in Moe's Tavern, okay, when you do this shit. Your transgression, Shaggy. You get belted in each and every regard. <laughs> you know, figure it out, buddy. Um, actually, Surfer, we do want to hear Shaggy, but for some reason, you have a kid diddler on your panel. Uh, yeah, Surfer, buddy, thank you. You have to get right with God. Shaggy is better than Warhammer. He isn't a pedo. Well, Warhammer isn't a pedo either, right? Like, Warhammer... Uh, well, no, he's he's not allowed around the kids by his family. I didn't say he's a pedo. Um, I said I that he is witness, not allowed around children by his Warhammer, family, actually and he has a and, uh, absolute lack of that, sexual um, interest in women. Might enjoy the e you know, I'm just I'm that, just putting two and two together there, Surfer. You're you're like you're making the same mistake Euros did. And, and I find um, it funny that you're maybe, protecting maybe Warhammer now after agreeing with me earlier that I was right about him and he's a bad person and a sack of shit. You know, you want to invite this dude on? This dude literally fucking contacted my church. Hold on, that's a fucking point. This faggot literally went around contacting my church. And, and Surfer makes such a big deal about whether or not that happened to PPP. And I can't remember whether he's for or against it. But like Warhammer, like even Euro said that was fucked. And Surfer said that was fucked to me in Discord. And now he's on here just, like, uh, fucking doing this shit. It's an attempt to be Ashton Parks. I think it might be the house. Because Surfer really is embracing the gunt here in the worst fucking way. And he needs to repent. He needs to repent. 3-4, and uh, we'll hear Shaggy's insight. Um... Uh oh, it's going gonna get kaleidoscopic now, in here. Hand, just mute the guy. If I stay to mute the guy, you know, just you mute the guy. Oh, you yeah. can't mute me here. Yeah, it goes off really because I'm. You, you can't mute me, me here. I'm not going back in there, surfer. Why, surfer? Why would I go back there? I can I can say what I like here, surfer. I can say what I want here. I'm um, right here. Yeah, we know Shaggy's. Yeah. I'll be right here. So we do have to be some level of patient with him. I'm Shady, with you always, 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 cause love is all you need. Tell me who you want to be, oh, and I will set you free. Uh, does it look like, like Shaggy is in a bad mood? Because I may be felted, my friends, but my heart is full of the Holy Spirit. And it is not just the spirits, but it is the Holy Spirit that tells me Warhammer is indeed a danger to children. I don't know if he fucked them, but I wouldn't trust him to babysit, would you? Would you honestly, would any woman in the chat trust Tardhammer to babysit their child? <laughs> a little bit through the chapter myself. Uh, sorry, Warhammer, what was that? You said you're a little bit through the chapter now? Place your faith in me, and I shall baptize your dead! Chapter. Um, uh, yeah, I was reading through it. Ah. Uh. Awesome. awesome. Uh, it, it, it does. It's a good it does tell. You know, it does tell, it does it tell really that the false Christian is the only one with power here over life and death. Not only in the sense that I do have, you know, I'm not gonna pull my gun out again. But that, a friend of my, uh, a fr my bishop actually said that was an incredibly stupid thing to do. But I forgot what I was gonna say. This gin is good. I buy better gin. I would buy better gin. Ooh, a long little little chapter here. Yeah, forty-four verses, mate. One of the longer ones. Yeah. 
I think the longest chapter in the Bible is like the right in the middle of the Bible. It's one of the Psalms. I think it's the one where like it has like eight verses for every letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And it's uh, I think it's like two hundred. Okay, esoteric. Esoteric wants like the lore. Well, like Drunken Shaggy is here, and Drunken Shaggy has the lore. I got the lore for you, esoteric. You see. Warhammer was tarting hard one day, and I think it was in Surfer's chat or in Yara's chat, whatever the fuck's chat is. You see, the thing is, Shaggy was asleep at the time. I was asleep. And, uh... And anyway, uh, Forge Gang were tarting out, and Warhammer was tarting out, you know, doing his raps and shit, and he posted... Um, you know, that Lolly over, um, uh, Futa. He, he said that he would rather watch Lolly porn than Futa porn. Now, maybe he had some point in regards to that. And I said at the time that I don't think that Warhammer's a pedo. Uh, but then, you know, Warhammer went IRL and he started contacting my church. And my church talked to me about it, and I wanted to know who this guy was, because I was disturbed, and they were disturbed, and they told me who he was, and I said, should I baptize his family? And I told him, and, uh, you know, uh, the people that I trust, uh, some people said absolutely not, but the people I trust, <clears throat> the people I actually respect in the church, sort of laughed and said, it'll teach him to be tolerant. So, um, now I have a bunch of information on on this guy, because he fucked with the Mormon church. Like, he didn't fuck with Shaggy, he went and harassed the Mormon church. So, I'm a member of that, so they talked to me, and yeah, now I know his family doesn't trust him around children. That was one of the first things that was said to me. Like, they did info, they dug it up on you, Warhammer, what did you expect? Yeah, of course they did for You're not just fucking with me. You're fucking with the $17 billion organization, you dumb fucking retard. You're lucky that telling me your shit is all they did. Well, then, uh, uh, Chan, I have his name. It's John Keese. It's John Keese. It is. No, I did. And he did it on stream, dipshit. Hey, Chan, he did it on stream. He did it live. He did it live, you retard. Chan, he did it live. Fucking moron. Oh, yeah, Black, Black Spy. Toxic, you got the premium lol cow. You've got your new Cyrax. You know, they've had me dealing with a Cyrax, and you know, Toxic, how I hate Cyrax. Please, take this one off my hand. Toxic, let this, let Warhammer be my gift to you, Toxic. Yeah, he did, Chan. Well, Chan, you know what? Uh, he did. Like, he, 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 I've been told he did it live, and I've been told that he did. But Chan, you can believe Chan, or you can believe Shaggy. It's Chan versus Shaggy, and Chan likes to lie. Chan likes to make shit up, so fuck him. That's not me, me, me. Fuck you, Chan. Get fucked. Well, I, I don't know what you're gonna do, Chan. Like, I, I, I... He failed to contact... He contacted the church, you dumb shit. It's the Mormon church. It's a centralized church. You contact the church. You might not get to me, but eventually I'll get to you. It's not a two-way mirror, dumbass. Holy fuck, I have to explain this shit to these retards. It's like, hey, he didn't contact your church. He did. He contacted the Latter-day Saints. Yeah, sure, Shaggy. Yeah, sure, Chan. Fuck off. Tempted to ban you from the chat for being that stupid. You're lucky I don't uh, ban people for being retards, Chan. Because that's a fucking dumbass take. How the fuck did Galdi get in here? No, we don't need that. Goodbye. Yeah. Hide user. Ever since I started banning users, this chat's gotten a lot more uh, easy to deal with. It's almost like all my A-logs did a real disservice to themselves by teaching Shaggy to ban people. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. Ch Shaggy once operated that no one gets banned, but the A-Logs just went hard on a tard, and now I ban people. Is it is it fun, Galdi? How you like that, Galdi? Well, Galdi is banned. Well, no one needs Galdi. Galdi is the dude who fucking banned me out of all of PPP's chat. Galdi legitimately hates me and just fucking seethes and copes over me 24-7 just because I exist on here. You want to talk about seething and coping, okay? When Galdi walks away from this, he's still thinking about me. When he goes to bed at night, he dreams about me. That's Galdi. Because women don't exist in his life. This is his life. I am the closest thing to an actual relationship Galdi will ever fucking have. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that, Toxic. Maybe we go on your channel and talk shit. Anyway, like, uh... Surfer, Surfer might think, uh... It's like Dymo and Surfer think that they invented Shaggy, but I keep telling you it's Toxic that invented Shaggy. They don't know my lore. They don't know my lore. And that's what we see with, like, the Apostle Paul, for instance. Like, the Apostle Paul would refer to himself as the least of the apostles because he uh, his history was uh, persecuting Christians. Which... Yeah, and uh, Joseph Smith's history was leading Christians and doing right by them, which is why he was the greatest of the apostles. So you should stop, like, quoting Paul to contradict Joseph Smith. Because he repented of that path. So there is a lot of, uh, you can learn a lot of insights from guys like David Wood and that sort of thing for that, uh, that same idea. And like I said, I haven't watched a lot. I know who that is. I haven't watched a lot of his stuff. I've seen a couple of his debates on Modern Day Debate. Um, you know, so I, I think I it know, might be um, funny. I, I don't really know 100% the theology, but he seems the like a very zealous den. guy. And, um, I think it might be time to well, re-enter yeah, we'll, the we'll arena. Sure, well, uh, I mean, if, if it's not gunted up. Oh, we are still gunted. And then, you know, oh, we go. she did respond. Ungunted and... Yeah, we got okay, specifically. Possible. Shaggy, Shaggy, you're back, bro. We I never left. You. Um, we hope you Jesus himself. Uh, no. Oh, oh, I never if you left. have any insight, Shaggy, Shaggy, if you have any insight, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask now, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure that's that's why I said it to you. Yeah, yeah, no, I was I just popped in to uh, congratulate you on fully embracing the gunt. You fully muting people in chat. You've got Adolf making it the uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, text chat unusable. No, I'm I'm not muting really anybody in chat. I muted really you specifically do. because you're I'm having a spur. You're seething and crying and spurging out and acting like a son of Blyle. Well, like I a mean, jackal. No, I mean, <laughs> so I like, muted you specifically. I wouldn't mute anyone in chat. Well, I, no, I mean, it does. I, I don't know. Right I, now. Just, I just see some similarities between you and some other people who uh, embraced gunts and became uh, gunted ones. It seems like a common path of the gunted one to slowly uh, but surely censor the fuck out of the chat. Yeah, but because I'm not ADIQ shaggy, because I view the world in a more nuanced way, I don't see any people as black or white, good or evil. Um, a lot of people that have lower IQs and uh, view the world sort of retardedly and naively, they'll view people like Ethan Ralph as 100% bad or 100% good. I think neither. Obviously, Ethan Ralph, just like all other men, is something in between. Um, not everything that Ethan Ralph does is bad, and not everything he does is good. It's like they make the argument. A lot of people will think that because Adolf Hitler did something, it has to be bad, because Adolf Hitler is a bad man in their eyes. The reality is all men lie in between. Men do good and bad. Just because Ralph does something doesn't mean it's good or bad. So I don't know why you try to make that comparison like it's a valid point. Okay, okay. I see Surely you're you smarter than that. Well, I mean, you misunderstood something I said. Uh, the term gunt in that fashion was not a reference to Ethan Ralph. I refer to Dymo as a gunt. Uh, you know, the term references, you know, thin skinness and a quickness to anger. And I just seem to see that in you right now. Well, I, I don't think the Dymo has thin skin. Like, I think the Dymo has pretty thick skin. Like, he, you know, he's not a skinny guy. Oh, he does sometimes, but I think everyone gets a little <laughs> yeah, The Dymo's got very plump skin. You know, you know? I, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, 
and Ethan <laughs> Ralph, Ethan Ralph is a man with very thick skin. I don't think that Ethan Ralph would have been able to go toe to toe with Medicare if he was really the gunt in the fashion that PPP calls him. No, I'm just saying that the term gunt in that way that I'm using it very much applies to the way you've been behaving tonight, Surfer. You've been uh, cavorting with heathen. Okay, so which which gunt am I behaving like then? Am I taking after Ethan Ralph or am I taking after Dymo? No, you're taking after I mean, Warhammer. Name? You're taking after Warhammer. This has all been incredibly retarded. Now I'm taking after Warhammer. You know, well, uh, me, me and Warhammer have a similar type of autism, you know. So, it, it, yeah, may be, it may maybe, maybe maybe my problem is, is, is more that you're taking up for Warhammer when there's a lot of very serious and suspect shit regarding him. I wasn't kidding when I said that he tried to contact Oh, him. yeah, no, the things Warhammer does wrong, I, I called him out on. Well, Yesterday I, wanna, I was I in a VC with Warhammer. Because, and I, uh, I grilled Warhammer about potentially sending emails to your employers, and I told him that that was very wrong, he, uh, he and uh, right reprimanded right. him for that. Oh, he and really just like it. how we want you to repent, Shaggy, oh, wow. okay, and come so back to the on. proper light no, of Christ, no, no. All right, when the you're same ready. thing for Warhammer. When you're ready. Now, um, when you're ready. you know, Warhammer might make mistakes, but you, no, well, that's, <laughs> you know, that's you're, that's you're, that's certain, you're that's certainly that's making much mistake, more so of training. That is not a fucking mistake. That is not a fucking mistake. That's going IRL. Okay? And as a result... Are you all right, Daddy? As a result of that, I found out some shit. Are you going to make it, Daddy? Thing. Look, look. Do you want to hear me or not? I can say this on my show. It sounds like... It, it sounds like the comparison to Warhammer broke leave. the mind, Daddy. Do you want me to talk Just or leave? calm down know. a little bit, buddy. Maybe get off the gym. Do you want me to talk or do you want me to leave? Yeah, gin makes people fucking violent. That's a that that's a fact. That's why I drink it and not that fucking look listen. Jackie, just just calm down, bro. You're, you're spitting I, everywhere. I really don't look, my whole point is that as a result of Warhammer, not trying to fuck with me, but the fact is you try and contact the Latter day Saints Church, you're contacting a very well connected organization. Yes, it got back to me, and as a result of his stupidity, I found out shit about him. His parents don't trust him around kids. That's what was said to me. Now, I, have no I don't think Warhammer did it. Like, uh, I think well, you quit your job to get unemployment benefits. I'm right? sorry, but And you just grifted off of your sympathy. Uh, That's yeah, what I see. think. I'm grifting, right. Yeah, I haven't had set up a single fucking donation. If I was ever going to grift, it would be now, and I ain't doing it. Yeah. Do you see any fucking PayPal? Well, saying that Warhammer is not a letter around kids, like not allowed around kids, that's a pretty serious yeah, accusation there. Yeah, that's a pretty serious accusation. But go on, keep playing with the retard. I'm sure it's not a bad fucking idea. Thanks, guys. Anyway, that was that. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I had to say on, on that stream. You know, and I think we've all learned something here today. Hold on. I want to play some, some, some uh, you know, soft piano music for this one. I think we've learned a valuable lesson. Yes. Hold on. I, I need something that's just like uh, perfect for this. Uh, I'm just going to type in soft piano music. Hopefully we'll get something appropriate. You want an air purifier. A fucking ad. I hate. I, I really hate technocracy. Technocracy truly is the worst form of government. And there's a second fucking ad by Disney for Rick and Morty for some reason. <clears throat> Counselor time. Counselor Shag. We've all learned something here today, haven't we? We can all get a little angry from time to time. But that's no reason to compromise our core values. You know, absolutely and totally act like someone we've built our entire online career criticizing. You know, it's one thing to kick people out of the chat when they're, uh, just deliberately trying to destroy the channel when they're deliberately just trying to make it so that no one can have fun at all. But no one wants to engage in a chat without banter. No one wants to hear some hit 
drone on and on about what he thinks about biblical reading of a passage he can't possibly understand. Or hear some retarded German dude complain because he's not familiar with what the content is. I think that regardless of whether you're a big time celebrity or whether you're a small time belted buddy like like myself, you you still can't afford to hard out and go full gun. That's the end of this one. Uh, don't think you can mute me from chat. If you mute me from chat, if you try that shit, I'm gonna snipe you. I will. I, if I can't defeat you in close range combat, I am more than willing to to bushwhack you from the trees. By the way, this isn't spiraling. This is literally just being drunk on gin. If you think this is spiraling, you never saw my early work on this channel. Uh, but but hey. You know what? When I when I stopped fucking drinking, people complained then too. They thought I'd become tame and boring. If you remember, if you remember when I just arrived at the Masonic Mansion, people were bitching like fuck. They said, "Shaggy change, Shaggy change." Now Shaggy just got sober, and now he's drinking gin again. him speak. You know, I, I, I didn't want to cut off the great Shaggy, so we were letting him speak. But I'd be curious which one evidence Shaggy uncovered of uh, Warhammer not being trusted around children. Um, I, I don't think that the Church of Latter-day Saints uncovered that through a phone call. Like, that's, uh, the chances of that are pretty slim. I think Shaggy is just uh, committing false witness like he does to everyone that A-logs him in his chat. And he reads their comments like they're some sort of pedophiles and they're admitting to that. Um, Shaggy does that again and again. And I really think it is like the boy who cried wolf in this regard. If Shaggy could present some evidence instead of just making these slanderous claims, maybe we'd have to press Warhammer a little bit about this. But uh, as it stands, I don't think Warhammer calling Shaggy's church, that that's something Shaggy's church would have been able to figure out from that phone call. You know, I think that's a pretty big stretch. Uh, but if Shaggy has evidence, I'd be open to hear it, of course. Um, oh, no, Shaggy just banned Galdi. Like, he comes on here and says, I'm acting gunty because I muted him. And then I muted oh. people in chat because I muted him from the Discord call. And then he's, he's in his chat muting everybody. Like, he literally has been going on tirades for the last two weeks about how he needs to clean up chat and mute them. And actually, in um, in, my, in DMs with me, he's been trying to convince me that I need to start to censor and ban my chat. And then he's going to come on the show and say that I'm censoring chat. When, like, he's crying for me to censor chat for the last, like, two weeks because he can't handle his A-logs. <laughs> you know, like, have some self-awareness, Shaggy. We won't be censoring chat. And, um, you know, you can't cry out. You can't project what you're doing wrong upon those that you disagree with. <laughs> you know, like, it's just silly. And it's not genuine. It's uh, It doesn't come from a place of honesty. And uh, we're directed in the Bible to be honest, not be liars. Um, we're, we're directed to come from a place of genuineness and not make things up. I think, Shaggy, you were very offended by Gimli the Dwarf, the lesbian, um, that preached a Luciferian mindset, but uh, identified as a Christian. That's not genuine, and you saw the wrong in that. So you shouldn't act the same way, Shaggy. You need to be genuine with the things you say. Um, That's right. That's right. 